Hi everyone, welcome to Provisual Tutorials. In this video, I'll show you how you can easily set up and showcase your design using ProVisual and 3D models. Let's navigate to the 3D Models section and select an object for our tutorial. The library contains a vast variety of high-quality 3D models, and it gets updated weekly. In this tutorial, we will learn how to customize a 3D model of a skateboard. Let's select a 3D model from the vast ProVisual library. This is what the default 3D skateboard model looks like. Let's turn off the drop shadow to make the process of work with materials of our 3D model more convenient. Let's start with the grip tape. The initial material looks hyper-realistic. Let's touch it up with more highlights. Next, we will go to the upper bolts and change the material as well. Like this. The next step is to customize the bottom of the skateboard. Let's turn the 3D model and set up the wheels part. Next, let's change the color. Now let's adjust the material of the wheels and make them less glossy. Great. Next, let's go to the edge stripe element and change the color of this material. Nice. Let's configure the deck edge element. The texture is already applied onto it. To remove the texture, set the value to zero. Now we can color the deck edge. Next, we customize the metal parts of our skateboard model. Let's go to the bolt part and change the material to a more glossy one. Chrome material looks great. Let's apply it and change the color of the material. Now we'll copy the bolt's material settings and apply them to the kingpin. Up next, the hanger. Let's change the color of the material and tweak the material settings a little. Now let's copy the hanger material settings and apply them to the base plate. Amazing. The next step is to configure the bushings. Let's turn the 3D model for more convenience. Let's go to the materials gallery and select the best material from the metal tab. This one suits us. In the material settings, we will make it smoother and glossier. Like this. Next, we will configure the pivot bushings. Let's change the material and tweak it a little. Let's turn our 3D model again a little to fine tune the bearing outer. Updating the material and changing its color. Now in the material settings, we will also make it more glossy. For the bearing inner element, we will only change the material to chrome. We're only left with the rings. In the materials gallery, selecting rubber and adding some highlights. Very simple. We have set up the materials for our skateboard, so cool. Let's add a design to the skateboard. To add the design, click on the Add Design button on the Design Layers panel. You can also download a UV map and create your design in another editor. I've already prepared some images for our skateboard. Let's add the first design element to the grip tape. You can change the opacity to see the edges of the UV map better and place your design more accurately. Great. Let's set the opacity at its original position and save the design.
Now we will turn the model to add the design to the deck element. In this window, we see the editor, where we can move and modify our design. Let's reset the coordinates of the design position. Good job. Let's save our work. Now let's add some personality to our design. We will tweak the materials settings of our design to achieve this. Let's select the design layer to activate it. In the gallery where we see all the materials, we select a wooden texture. Next, let's reduce the intensity of the texture of the material a little so that our design is visible. Next, rotate the texture 90 degrees and reduce it a bit. Nice. We gave our design the texture of the real wood. I really like the result. Now let's add stickers to this design. To add a design, click on the Add Design button on the Design Layers panel. Let's save our design. Great. Now let's set up the design with stickers. Let's select the design layer. In the materials gallery, select carbon. Let's customize the material a little and change the texture size. You can set any texture size by entering the value manually, like this. We will apply the bevel effect to the text layer as well. Just awesome. Now let's customize the design on the wheels. Let's go to the wheels and select the desired design layer. Next, let's customize the material a little. Okay, turn the drop shadow back on. Next, we go to the environment tab to change the lighting of our 3D model. We will adjust it a little. The next step is to rotate the light horizontally and vertically. The model looks more vibrant adding a professional touch to the final image. Let's see what types of pre-made backgrounds we have. We can choose a solid fill as the background, or we can go for a gradient fill. Here, we can select the desired colors and also set the direction of the fill, linear or radial. You can also pick one of the pre-designed backgrounds that we've prepared for you, or add your own image. Let's add one. Excellent. You can turn on moving lights to see how the light can enhance the shape and textures of the 3D model. You can also rotate the 3D model to see how the design looks in motion. Let's save our project now. After you've completed your design, you can share it by clicking the share button. You'll get a shareable link to open the interactive viewer with your 3D model. Send it over to your colleagues, friends, or clients. And this is the end of our tutorial on creating a skateboard design. We hope this has been helpful for you. See you in the upcoming tutorials.